So to begin this exercise, I want you to set yourself up on a nice rectangular shape inside of your arena, about one horse length away from the wall or from the, from the fence. And just, you know, you can start out in the walk or you can, you know, start in a sitting trot if you're already familiar with the space and focus on very clean, straight lines and very clean corners, giving with the outside rein a little bit, taking a little bit with the inside, wrapping a horse around your inside leg and helping him stabilize with your weight aids. Sometimes by sitting a little bit to the outside in the corners to ride these really nice clean corners. And then you're going to perhaps, you know, change directions. Just ride your horse in this very simple working trot. You know, just try and ride this shape as precisely as you can. And you will find, depending on the level of balance that you and your horse have acquired together, that this is a more or less simple or not so simple exercise and where your horse needs more support, right? And you're just going to ride one or two rounds first in the sitting trot and then you're going to find your way into preparing your horse for your first canter depart, wherever you would like to do that, you know, and you're going to try and use the same shape while riding, perhaps to start with one or one and a half rounds of canter on this rectangle. And you will see it is not as easy as it may look. And just, you know, give it a try. Set your horse up with a little bit of a measured, almost collective trot as I have Cooley right now. And then perhaps as you go into the corner, inside leg goes forward and on, outside leg is back already. And you're going to go straighten and corner. And straighten again, outside rein needs to help the horse, inside leg is on, 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 saw, corner, straighten, corner, straighten. You know, and you will see that you don't have a whole lot of time on the short sides, but that's actually a good thing, because it teaches you and your horse to be very specific with your horse, with your um, driving aids. So then I'm going to come across here. I'm just going to change directions, throw a few steps off trot, and I'm going to go right back to the other side. You know, you can give your horse a little bit of a break if you need it, but sometimes it's just nice to keep riding, just to say, you know, look, how are we feeling today? How far along are we in this process of, you know, balancing ourselves? And you will notice that it's helpful to half hold your horse, especially on the short sides before the corners. You know, I'm going to go a little bit longer here. You can do this for as little or as long as you like, but always think quality over quantity, <laughs> right? So we're going to say that's good for right now. I'm going to let him stretch and say, well done, very nice job, Cooley. So, you know, and that's another marker for you and your horse to achieve that, the more you ride the shape, and you can vary it, of course, you can ride circles in between or, you know, change directions more frequently, all these different things. But it is, <laughs> like I said, a deceivingly easy looking little shape to ride, but it will help you take in inventory with your horse, where are you at? Are you able to maintain a fairly straight line without drifting outward? Are you able to maintain the balance in the corners? Again, in the corner, you want to make sure that the horse doesn't lean inward too much, like a motorcycle. So as you're sitting and being, becoming more aware of your weight aids, you want to make sure that you sit maybe a little bit to the outside. Not a ton. Obviously, you don't want to unbalance your horse. But try that in increments and see if it helps your horse to stay a little bit more upright. And then you go straight again, inside leg drives, and you really, really have to pay attention to each stride. Where does my horse need me? Where can I support him or her best? And then as you manage these strides that feel better, you know, of course not perfect the first time or first few times when you try this, but as you focus on the ones that are good, that are feeling nice, 
you know, check in with yourself and become very, very present with yourself and with your horse and say, hey, what, what is it that we're doing that works? Rather than focusing on the times when it may not feel so good. Those are kind of like throwaways and say, hey, that didn't work. We'll try it again. Let's see. And you go down the list of you know, markers and things that you know are a good um, recipe to have success. And, you know, a good recipe is always the starting point. The base has to be that you can do this this rectangle in a good, good sitting trot and without losing your balance or without the horse drifting and with riding good corners. And then, you know, you practice your canter before you do the inside rectangle here. You practice it on the outside you will have probably managed a good 20 meter circle and a changing out of a 20 meter circle to the other side to the next 20 meter circle, those kind of things. And when you feel that you can do that and fairly good corners, you know, in your regular riding arena setup, then you're ready for the rectangle inside of the arena specs. So give it a try, <laughs> have fun with it, enjoy it, do it in small increments and happy riding. <laughs> Thank you, Cooley. Good boy.